Oh shoot, guys. They made a big slip up. Looks like it's freely happening, huh? <laughs>
game, possibly made in Japan. Oh. Okay, so not really, not really much is on the project that, uh, besides that the rumors have it that it might be a possible mainline entry. Huh. Well, we'll see. Uh, video game rumors tend to, tend to more, like a lot of times be true. So, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, okay, in February 2021, we just reported that Konami had to outsource a science Hill project to a prominent Japanese developer. This seems likely to be home of the new mainline game. Although VGC noted that the Japanese project was something of a departure from past Silent Hill games. What does that mean? Is it more action based or more of, well, who, who knows? Who's to say it's also be? It's going to turn to a series of Western developers to make Silent Hill games after 2004 Silent Hill, the room with mixed results. Yeah, like uh, Homecoming. I finished that game more times than I can count and Downpour, which I own but I never finished. But those games apparently weren't received so well. Origins, I'm not sure, though. I think Origins is also from a Western developer. Played that a bit, a bit of that, but I never finished it either. As well as Ito, a reg uh, regular Seinfeld composer. Akira Yamaoka has shared the announcement of Wednesday's event in 2021. Yeah, in 2021, and then since the Livid video interview, Yamaoka said his next project would be the one you're hoping to hear about. Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay. Man, I, I love this guy's music. I have a lot of tracks on my phone, uh, but this right here, the one you're, you're hoping to hear about, okay, this says a lot, honestly. I mean, what else, what else would he be talking about? It seems as though Konami is making an effort to round up at least a few key members of original uh, de developer team Silent for its new Silent Hill projects. Ooh, okay, very spicy. Uh, piece of information right here. A remake of Silent Hill 2 from Bloober Team. Polish developer Bloober Team, the horror specialist that made Layers of Fear and The Medium. Okay, I have this game, but I haven't played it. I heard good things, though. Layers of Fear, never heard of that. Had been closely linked to the Silent Hill series since last year. Speculation began when CEO uh, Peter Babieno told uh, GameIndustry.biz... We've been working for more than a year on another gaming project, another horror IP, and we're doing this with a very famous gaming publisher. Woo! I can't tell you who. I can't tell you what the next project is, but I'm pretty sure when people realize what we're working on, they'll be very excited. Very, very spicy piece of information right here. Uh, that the IP would be Silent Hill was more or less confirmed a few months later when Bloober announced that it was entering a partnership with Konami. Whoa, okay. Okay. All right. I'm. I'm. I'm just. I'm just so you know. I'm reading this for the first time alongside with you guys. If you haven't written this article, Bluebird was also known to be working with Yamoka on a new game after he had contributed to the soundtrack for the Medium. Oh, what? He made tracks for the Medium. Oh man, I gotta listen to that soundtrack. All right. Okay, people. This is this is spicy here. This is real spicy. Andrew Marmo, Twitter. First leak image of Silent Hill to remake. Oh. Man, if this is true, then that's what they were referring to in the in the um, Konami's official uh, Twitter thingy when they were saying, "Do you see that? Do you see that town in your dreams?" Uh, I see. I dream about that town. Sorry, I know I'm I'm butchering the quote, but basically, yeah, more or less, Mary's letter from Silent Hill Two. No one was here. No one was here. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Silent Hill Two is very well beloved within the series and a lot many people claim it to be the best in the series so yeah yeah very spicy stuff for a while blooper was assumed to be leading silent hill reboot or continuation until their boards from nate the hate grub and vgc in may this year all linked the developer with a remake of 2001 silent hill 2 Woo, okay which is felt by most fans to be the best in the game in the series 
to be the best game in the series. If reports are accurate, it will be an extensive reworking of the game with multiple new endings, revised AI, animations, and puzzles. Some reports suggest the game will be a timed PlayStation exclusive. Okay, I'm hoping that this is not true. Uh, I'm 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 more of a I'm more of a um, P PlayStation guy, but I hope that this is not true because I want everyone to get their hands on it. But yeah, this. Anyways, some very poor quality images uh, purporting to be of the Silent Hill 2 remake appeared on Twitter in September. Peering through the murk in September, really? Oh. Man, th that 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 um, pff, I didn't. Okay. I, the first time I'm hearing about this. Peering through the Merc, they did appear to match various details of the game. Allegedly, they are taken from a pitch demo. Blubber made from the project was even greenlit and don't reflect its final quality. Hmm. Well, who knows? Could be. We'll know. We'll know soon. We'll know in, in, in a matter of hours. An episodic series of short stories. There's a third or fourth Silent Hill project that may or may not be in production. But the evidence for this one is slighter. Uh, leaker Dusk Golem, responsible for the major image leak from the teaser or mainline game in May, said that he had heard as early as 2018 that Konami had been soliciting Silent Hill pitches, uh, from, pitches from studios for two projects. One was a reboot, the other an episodic game. Ah. <sighs> Please don't do this. Please don't do the episodic stuff. And nothing against it. I enjoyed the Telltale games. I enjoyed the Revelations 2 game. Uh, even though I don't like... Uh, I know how it was released when it first came out. They did a weekly type of thing. It was interesting, uh, but... I mean, don't do that. I, I, I played the game fully. Like, I didn't really go through the whole weekly thing. Or the, like, the episodic thing. But just uh, don't do the episodic thing, please. But hey, you guys know better. Uh, it's just my two cents. Anyways, in May of this year, Nate the Hate mentioned side stories as a project in development. And VGC revert to a smaller episodic series of short stories. Okay, episodic series of short stories. Okay, 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 okay. In this case, I could possibly dig it. I could possibly dig it. I'd prefer not, but I could possibly dig it. Okay, this is unrelated, but they should really continue the Revelations, Resident Evil Revelations, sub-series, whatever you want to call it. I, li I like those. Uh, it's been reported that Until Dawn and Dark Pictures developers, oh, super massive games, took part in this pitch process. Aha! Interesting, but it was ultimately rejected. Okay, another name connected with the episodic series by VGC sources was Boutique Publisher... Annapurna Interactive. Uh, I'm, I don't think I've heard of these guys. This is the Vegas uh, prospect, and it goes without saying that none of these projects is confirmed. And they could all have been cancelled or changed, even if they are real. Okay. One thing is certain, though, with this much rumor and reported activity, there has been a lot going on behind the scenes on Silent Hill for some time. Interesting. Konami seems determined to bring the series back in a big way, working both with external studios and some of the series' originating talents. Here's having it all have something uh, substantive to show for its efforts this week. Okay, this is this is going to be interesting. If this is if this comes to if this comes out to be true, then we're we're in for quite for we're in for quite a treat. And it's been a while since we've heard anything from Silent Hill. You know, recently, I've been very interested. I took I took another in, uh, interest in um, in Silent Hill and the whole uh, mythos and the series as a whole. And I, I definitely love to play through the whole series on the channel, hopefully. But uh, yeah, this is definitely some spicy stuff. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. It'll be. This is exciting. This is really exciting. Um, I'm just still hoping that they revive uh, Kojima's pro, um, pro original, like the Silent Hills project. I don't think that'll ever happen, but uh, you know, we can only hope. But uh, the rest of the stuff that's been mentioned, it's going to be interesting to see, and uh, we'll see. Hopefully, the remake of Two does turn out to be true. It'll, um, you know, 
that that story. I I never finished the game, but I know the whole. I know like the, basically the, the the main plot points and uh, being w being able to for people to re-experience that and experience that for the first time would be very interesting to see. I I, I definitely support that in a heartbeat. But you know, uh, we'll we'll know the solid news in a matter of hours. So. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. This this is, this is pretty much uh, the end of the video. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right. Okay. Thanks for checking out the video, and take care. Peace.